For at TV, the world is thinking. First of all, we've got to go back to producing something here in the United States. All right? How about that? Uh, actually producing something here. And there's one thing we can produce here that we've not produced, which is clean energy. That is the big multi-billion dollar play left in the U.S. economy. The opportunity to take our Saudi Arabia of wind energy that we have in our plain states and our Saudi Arabia of solar energy that we have in our Sun Belt and on millions of rooftops coast to coast right, and connect those clean energy power centers to our population centers and run this country on clean energy. Now that is the breakthrough that begins to solve a number of problems at once. First of all, it puts the country back to work because now, what can you say to people in Detroit? Rather than, than saying to people in Detroit, we're going to bail you out so you can make SUVs that are 2% more fuel efficient in 10 years, which we're not sure who's going to buy it, but we're going to bail you out. We can say, now how about this? Rather than Detroit being asked to make slightly better SUVs that are going to help destroy the world, we can ask Detroit to make wind turbines and smart batteries and solar panels that can help save the world. Why do, you, why do I say that? Because the real question we have to ask ourselves is what do we want to do with our industrial capacity in this country? That's the real question. Why not put a $15 billion purchase order on the table for wind turbines? Right? Enough wind turbines to actually uh, tap our uh, plane states. A, and then to be clear, when I say wind turbines, some of you guys have children, and when I say wind turbines, you hear windmill. I know you do. You're thinking about, oh, I have the child on my lap. And we're turning the, look, there's a lamb, you know, and there's a farmer, and there's a cow, and there's a windmill. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about wind turbines, right? Think Boeing level engineering. Think a jet engine in the sky that can turn a breeze into real power. I'm talking about 8,000 finely machined parts in each one. 8,000 finely machined parts in each one. That's a car. That's a car. If you put them on a wind tower, that's 20 tons of steel. So you can put your automakers back to work and your steel workers back to work just turning our plain states into wind energy clean power centers. Right? I'm talking about smart batteries. I'm talking about solar panels and solar thin film. Right? We've got to produce something. Let's produce that. Wind turbines, it's better to produce them here than overseas anyway because they're so heavy. Those big blades, you don't want to build them someplace else and put them on a boat. That would be a big boat. Uh, so it's better to actually, it's more economical to build them here. So why don't we, rather than uh, bailing out Detroit uh, to do what's not going to work anyway, why don't we ask, actually, let the, actually buy the things that we need and let General Motors retool? General Motors is called General Motors, not General Cars <laughs> or General SUVs. The motors that we need would run those, solar, would, would run those, those wind turbines, okay? We've got to go back to producing something here in the United States. Let's put Detroit back to work. It gets better than that. It's not just about producing more energy, cleaner and greener energy. It's also about conserving and using more efficiently the energy we produce from any source. And there's another opportunity to put people back to work in energy efficiency. What, what am I talking about? I'm talking about uh, good working class jobs, uh, blowing in clean, non-toxic insulation in buildings. You know, everybody wants to beat global warming. We gotta stop global warming. I'm gonna ride my bike. Good, you should ride your bike. But when, if you ride your bike from your house that's hooked up to a coal fire power plant that's leaking all kind of energy and it's 30% inefficient, to your office building that's doing the same thing, to the mall that's doing the same thing, and then back home, you're missing 40% of our greenhouse gas problem, which is not automobiles, but our buildings. Our buildings are actually 40%. You spend, unless you live in Los Angeles, you don't spend that much time in your car. 
Uh, you spend an awful lot of time in buildings. Computers on, iPods plugged up, TVs on. And if you're hooked up to a coal-fired power plant, you're dumping megatons of carbon into the air. With existing off-the-shelf technology, we can bring that down by 30 percent, 40 percent, and save you money. We haven't done it because up until now we haven't taken it seriously. We've got a proposal called the Clean Energy Core that will let cities do that across the country and take folks off the street corner, right? People coming home from wars, people coming home from prison, people leaving high schools with no future, and take that soldier and say, put down that handgun, pick up this caulk gun, right? And let's get to work retrofitting a nation, repowering and rebooting America. 